I tried running one of the campaigns on my own. I did the setup. It was very exciting. Uh, I think that kind of keeps the fire burning. Uh, no amount of podcast or books or any uh, you know subscriptions can actually get you closer to that uh, experience. That's you fair. have to do it yourself. Same with uh, generative AI, right? Uh, yeah. If I am not excited about uh, putting the prompts in on GPT stores uh, to get different experiments done, then there's no way, you know, I can talk about it. Or I shouldn't be talking about it. Every industry uh, gets a leeway of a decade or more mm. to get growth at any cost, right? And then uh, I would not use the word sunset, but towards a mature stage in that graph, in that cycle, they are expected to uh, be profitable or at least operate at optimum costs. Um, the same cycle we have been seeing with my previous generation when the dot-com bubble happened. And then came our time, which was the e-commerce engine, where uh, the commandment was growth at any cost, acquire users, get people used to buying online, the ones who have been buying offline. The world post-2020 is not looking at this industry as the sunshine industry of next decade. So we have come into the scanner where we need to now operate like how the IT companies have started operating in the early 2000s, right? Mm. Uh, and, and, and become more cost efficient and focus on profitability. And now this leeway has gone to the AI industries, right? There's a fundamental shift of core consumer generation, mm. right? So when we were growing up, uh, baby boomers, largely our parents, were the decision maker when it comes to spending, right? Uh, which, which is very, very uh, frugal spending. And then came our generation, which was millennials. Where we said, okay, I don't mind taking that business class ticket, but I still want to invest in stock markets. I still want to plan for my retirement, right? Yeah. So there's a bit of both, right? Going ahead, now the highest spenders will be Generation Z. The Gen Z uh, is, is not a generation that is planning planning for the future or thinking about what they're going to do in retirement, right? For them, the reality is now. They confirm to uh, effectiveness of work, working from anywhere and spending anything that they want at that moment, no matter how expensive, no matter how cheap it is. At the same time, uh, with a lot of focus on sustainability, so I think these three factors, the disposable income of the largest spender going ahead, the, the flexibility or the freedom of choice and the sustainability factor would be very important. That will decide the success and failure of new retailers.